love bugs is rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me as well as yourselves and pushing out the beautiful vibes that you that radiates off of you so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload you know upload my next video i said uplift my next video <laughs> upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the aspect of my video or if you're just telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video has been very informative to you or it just gives you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow impact are going through some really dark times right now and need assistance with their journey and trying to get confirmation or validations for their life, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And... Thank you for the love and support. It is so greatly appreciated. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Um, this uh, meditation music I'm listening to is called Binary Beats. Meditation for Astral Projection. Binary Sleep. Meditation for Out of Body Experience. And I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below. It's giving me a euphoric feeling. So I'm just like... Ooh, it does make you feel out of body or it's raising your frequency up in ways I never knew how. But <laughs> anyways, the video that I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, when sharing gratitude, when showing gratitude to the universe, see what happens in return. Yes, it's just like anything that we're going through. And sometimes it can be really hard because if you're pushing out a lot of love, you know, it took me a while to have to be able to appreciate those things because I was like, you know, I get mad at the universe. Verse. I said, all I'm asking for is just a simple thing that everybody should be able to know, you know, for themselves. I just want for myself and I'm pushing out so much love and light, but why am I just getting these little things? And I know they're like, how dare her? I mean, that's how they were looking at me, like, how dare her? You have, you have to be able to appreciate the little bitty things that they give you, you know, and it's just like, we have to be grateful. Like with my situation, it's just like I'm so used to being independent and want to do things on my own, you know, never to have wanted to depend on nobody. But now it's just the fact is, you know, my ex is helping me out financially because I've been trying to find a job for I don't know how long. And it's even, you know, because it's like I was, I'm in a toxic situation, so I'm trying to hurry up and get myself up out of this situation because it's like I see myself in a better light, you know, wanting to find a job that, you know, pays enough for me to get out of my situation. But there, I'm stuck in a karmic cycle cycle that I'm gonna have to see the bigger picture of the whole situation so I just get frustrated you know I'm just like you know I do one-on-ones I do empathic counseling you know I, I push out videos I try to stay positive give pod positive you know blessings towards other people not looking for nothing in return why do I just get these little things it's like you have to be you know, grateful for the little things. When you start showing gratitude for, you know, it's just like when you want to get away from somebody, especially if you're in a toxic relationship and trying to see yourself up out of it, up like mine, he, you know, he goes off to either work or, you know, he goes out of town and stuff like that. I used to give him the side eye. I'm just like, you know, I would love to do these things as well, you know, but I'm not wishing I'm back. No, let me stop lying because I was wishing every daggone thing on that man because he really pushed me through, you know, pushed me through so many different you know different things where I was like I felt abused from all different angles and it was just like you know you asked him <laughs> you asked us to get him out of your life we, we told him to go out of town for a while you know he he does he does this he does that and I was not showing gratitude to the towards those things it's like now when I see it you know I don't get mad anymore I'm just like oh you know thank god he's you know he's gone for a few days or whatever you know even though I'll 
ready to do my thing and be separated but you know everything happens for a reason you have to go through situations to get to what you want but it's just like when you start showing more gratitude to the universe that you're blessed with that you know i said okay you know universe i'm blessed for the fact that you gave me this peace of mind to be able to get away from that toxic situation for like about 24 to 48 hours or you know a week you know there's times he goes out of town for a week I'm grateful for those situations, <laughs> you know, just to be able to not have to be, you know, always because anytime he's around, I got to always be looking over my shoulder about everything. And I just hate having to do that all the time. But then it's just like when I did not allow his reactions to get to me, you know, because before I used to do that, you know, he would do things to me just to get a reaction out of me or he would say certain things and I would let it get up under my skin and I'm just like you know what I am me and you are you and I accept you for you because this is all I'm gonna get with you but a whole different thing with me because I'm trying to you know I'm being a better person so don't allow myself to just because of what he wants to do you know mess up my my you know my energy for myself because you know people tend to have power over you if they know they can do something just to get a rise out of you and there are some people that you know you you dealt with that you know tries to pull your chain and being able to let you know see being able to get up under your skin like that now it's just like you know what that whatever <laughs> i'm not even gonna go there with you i'm not even gonna argue with you you know, because if you dealt with somebody who's narcissistic, you already know what I'm talking about. You know, I, I, I mean, my, my adopted dad, he used to do that all the time. He would try to find each and every way. Just, I mean, I'd be minding my own business, like you say. I've been minding my own business, and this fool come calling me saying something negative or just trying to find ways to hurt me. And I'm just like, now, if he tries to call me, I don't even answer. Or I just text him and say, look, we ain't got nothing else in life to talk about. You know, there's nothing, unless you go come out with the truth, we ain't got nothing to talk about. Just cut that situation short. That's I ain't trying to be rude, but if you ain't going to tell me what I need to hear and the things that you need to uh, come up clean about, we really don't have nothing to talk about. I don't wish nothing ill will to you. God bless you and keep it moving, you know, and keep doing me. So it's just like when I can ask, you know, be grateful towards that because it's like, you don't understand at times, universe will put you in places in the midst of a storm just to see how you're going to be able to handle that storm. Because you know when you first enter that storm, you are not going to be the same person that walked clean up out of it. So you have to be able to be prepared when the devil just try to yank your chain and see, you know, if I throw this in her, you know, in her light or in his light, let me see how he going to react to it. Is he going to act the same old ordinary way where he hoot and holler and get mad at the world and want to go off on everybody? Or are you going to do the things that you said you are going to do? I'm not going to allow ignorance people's ignorant ways gonna get to me you know because there's times that you know you say that and you're like okay so the universe will pop this back in your life we're gonna see how you're gonna be you know you're gonna handle this and that's when you know okay when you know you're changed and you know you're ascending to where you need to be you're not gonna allow these little petty things to get to you because you know, especially you have to, I have to keep telling myself, if you know you want these blessings or you see yourself being in these blessings, you have to be able to change your outlook on how you see certain things. You have to be able to not cast ugliness towards people that are ugly towards you. You just keep it moving. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, just don't say it at all. You know, you just keep doing you. You know, sometimes a, a, a silent response is a response. So you don't have to be able, to, you don't have to go off and, you know, have the last word. I was that type of person. I always got to have the last word. And I know there's a lot of my viewers on here like, Rosalind, I can agree with you. I need to have the last word. Sometimes you just don't even need to say nothing. Don't even entertain the fool. Sometimes you got to play the fool, the fool, the fool, to think that you a fool with the fool. Okay? So you just do all these things. So you have to be grateful for the fact that, you know, there's been so many things you have experienced in your life that you have a different way of approaching it. You have a different way of responding to it. You know, you don't carry that bitterness in your heart just because this person feels that certain way about you. You know, before people used to leave negative comments towards me and I used to get all up in my feelings about it. Like, hold up. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm just like, you know what? This person don't know me. <laughs> so how are you going to have all these that going up? I mean, some bad feelings about me. And then sometimes I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let this person be foolish by themselves. I, I just don't have time. I don't engage in it. I really don't. 
you know, like there's been past that, you know, people done told me, oh, you know, somebody done made a video about you being false, this and this and that. And I'm just like, you know, if you're a true empath or a true psychic, like you say you are, you would know I'm not lying about anything. Because you can't pull nothing like that over no empath's eyes thinking somebody lying about stuff. Either they're going to want to hear the truth or they're just going to unsubscribe you because they don't want to hear that truth. Or they're going to make up something about you because you they feel cause you as a threat. So it's just like, you know, people done made videos about me saying I'm a false this and this and that. Hey, you do you. I make my channel about what I make my channel about, about my truth. And you make, you make it about your truth. And, and it, you keep doing you. Because it's like what you eat don't make me use the bathroom. And who you have sex with ain't going to make me get all happy and happy. You know, I'm just trying to say that in a clear mode. But y'all know, y'all get my drift. But it's just basically what you do. You keep doing you. You know you're going to a better place. You can't allow these things to get, get to you. When you can sit up here and see that you're being tested and knowing that you responded the way you needed to respond and you see like, oh shoot, I'm proud, be proud of myself. You look up to the universe and say thank you. Because if it wasn't for them putting you through all them changes in the first place, you wouldn't be that better person you are now. You would still be that person that still responds to negativity the way others respond to negativity. There are sometimes, you know, how your mom or your dad used to tell you, yeah, you got to kill it with kindness or just kill it with silence. <laughs> Do that too much. Like, just don't even say nothing. And you being more grateful for all these situations that you've been placed in, knowing like, hey, I'm proud of myself. I don't react the way I do. I don't project out what they're trying to project to me. You know, it's just like, you know, when you see Trump come, coming out, like somebody say something ignorant to him, he got to go make something ignorant back. And I'm just like, this ain't, you know, this is not what you're supposed to do. You know, this is not how you're supposed to respond to people. But hey, it is what it is. But when you actually show the universe that you are grateful for everything they have placed in your life, for the lessons they have helped, helped you uh, see for what they truly are, when you can step back and see the bigger picture of it. You know, a lot of times we, we you know, they you know how they say a teacher is always quiet during a test. So they're just basically seeing how you're going to be able to handle certain situations and see you know when they see that you have been grateful for everything that's been placed in your life and being able to see things for what they truly are you'll just be amazed at things that they'll bless you with you know I used to always wonder like why am I going through the things I'm going through why do I keep going through this hell when I'm pushing out so much positivity I have to go through these things because they know the more I go through certain situations the more I make videos about the more videos I make the more people can relate to and more relate people relate to them the more they can understand their lives and why they have to go through the things that they go through so then I'm like oh I get it took me a minute I'm kind of slow on that one <laughs> but I got it but you know I understand why I had to go through uh, what I went through knowing I can be able to help somebody understand the chaotic situations in their life and giving that peace of mind and being able to tell you and explain to you this is the reason why things are so hard because it's just like the world is not you know it's not a simple playground we deal with some crazy stuff but for you to be able to handle yourself accordingly you know, you have to go through some gauntlets of the world. It might seem so crazy and out there, but you have to be able to do that. So when they see that you are grateful for all the things that they placed in your life, no matter how crazy or, you know, how wild it did, you, you're able to look at life in a totally different way. Saying, okay, from this situation, I'm not going to allow somebody to get up under my skin. That, you know, when people don't like me, help. Heck, they wake up in the morning, they don't like themselves. If people got to be all negative, obviously there's something in their personal life that they need to fix. There ain't nothing wrong with you. You know, if you're projecting out some negative stuff, then there's stuff that you have to pay attention towards yourself as well. But if you know that you're pushing out love and light and people still come at you crazy, they either see you is inferior or they very much sees you as a threat or they just don't love themselves so they just have nothing else better to do. So I hope you're able to, you know, resonate with the content of this video. Give me, you know, your input, your two cents or whatever you want to call it on this situation. Let me know, you know, are you being grateful towards the things if you experienced in life and knowing, you know, the universe has something better in store for you. I would love to hear your input on that. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I would love a chance to hear from you. You know, share. Give me a thumbs up. Post notification, I'm sorry I wasn't able to do it on the last one because I did almost 16 minutes. Um, Elena Carter, um, Sydney Ann, 
uh, Treasured Seasons, and Jay Cotwright. So much love to you, and I'll see you on my next video. Have a safe, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do, and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.